because I was a client. She called me when she said, hey, I'm closing this. I'm so sorry, but you have to look for a new rep. And I was like, but I've always wanted to be in this world. So do you mind if I bought it? That's it. I just my mom. So it was like, just your idea. Yeah. Welcome to the Opposite Ends Podcast. What's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of Opposite Ends Podcast. Uh, we are joined today with a fantastic, fantastic friend and uh, casting director of Boondock Saints 2, uh, Lost, and many other different films across the regions. We have Farrah West. Hello, hello. Thank you for being on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, excited to to pick your brain, see what's see what's going on. Oh yeah. So I'm an actor. Yes. I want to be a big time actor. And okay. so this is gonna be especially interesting for me because uh when I get when I got started in auditions, I was always so curious why why was I getting rejected mm -hmm. from certain and I was I was so confused about whether or not I was just bad at acting or was it the look or, you know, making up all these excuses in my in my head. So this I'm really excited to uh, talk to you about all these kinds of things. But um, first, where are you from? I am from Columbus, Ohio. OK. And so you're not born and raised in Los Angeles. You're no. from Columbus, Ohio. And so what was the what was what was like the first thing that kind of got you into movies? Um, I think just like as a kid, I literally just watched everything. And um, I remember seeing like all the names and then seeing these letters CSA and I was like wondering like what that is. But then I realized it's part of picking the actors out. And I always felt like I could do a good job doing that. And right. then it turned to like a big passion. Um, but did you do acting yourself or how did you I did a little bit? Um, being from Columbus, Ohio, you don't have too much options as you do here. Right. So I did um, some musical theater, you know, all that stuff, um, some modeling. I was with an agency for, oh my gosh, like several years. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I was 19, I got a call saying they're going to close. And I asked him if I could purchase the agency. At 19? Yeah. I asked if I could purchase it and um, change the name. What kind of name. agency was it? Like a modeling it's Ohio, agency? It's so Ohio. Yeah, modeling agency and um, acting. So they did like back in the day, it was like um, Rescue 911, um, like small videos. They mm. did some local commercials. I was oh, in a nice. bunch of local commercials. Um, but also promotional work where like samples, you hand out samples, but you get like the hot chicks to do it for you and all that stuff. So I was actually right. booking, once I start, I bought my agency, my mom helped me obviously because I was 19, but once I bought that, um, I started booking all my friends for promotional work and stuff and all my friends for like local like commercials. But then I got a call from Hollywood and I was dying is Karen Vice's office, but she was very huge, she did uh, Roseanne. And she was doing a show called Sybil. Okay. And they were doing a U.S. search. So they called my itty bitty little office, and I was so excited. And that's when I got even more of a bigger bug to keep on with that path nice. instead of doing the other side. So were there any like competitors in the region or? Yeah, what? I mean, yeah, there was like way like bigger agencies that are still there. Like, oh, there's, really? Yeah, like Cam Talent, like some other people. Um, but there's also like the John Casablanca's, John Mark Powers back in the day, you know, those kind right. of things. But those weren't the ones that really booked. Like Procter & Gamble was linked to like the bigger, since I was in Cincinnati, it was like booked, uh, linked to bigger agencies and stuff. But sometimes they did call me. Okay. So then, so you get called from Hollywood. Yeah. Karen Vice's office. And I was like, floored. So what did that mean for you? So because I, I, I don't know that's, anything about I this. Guess, so. Yeah, I guess that's where the big bug came because like, wow, this is really it. Like, I'm going to put people on tape. But and does that mean they called you to plug them up with people or did audition? They... Yeah. Audition people oh. in Ohio. Yeah. Oh, OK. They're like, hey, like, you know, we have this show. We're looking for um, the daughter. So then your agency became more. It big like, time more legitimate yeah, it was so like, yeah, from 19 knew years who old I was. yeah 19 years old you bought it yeah and then how long did it take before you got that call from hollywood oh i probably was like maybe three months in no way yeah that's yeah. quick yeah 
Yeah, but, but that's the timing of it, though. They're right. looking, you know, they're doing their search, which I've done my search and call like little places and be like, hey, and like that's what makes me happy. If I have something where I have to do a world search, I find like the smallest agency because I want to give someone that joy. Right. So, so I mean, 19 is pretty young I to know. like start any kind of business, <laughs> right? Know. So, and it's, it's scary. Yeah. Um, but also, you get a lot of grow up. Yeah, you grow up really quick. But I feel like people older than you, especially, oh, yeah. uh, especially parents and like family yeah. members, they're always like, oh, I don't know if you should do that. You know, like, oh, yeah, the teeny you don't bop. know what yeah. you're doing. Uh, this is a lot of money to play with. Like yeah. what's going on? So, so how did you overcome that? Well, I only had it for about a year because I did want to be a kid. No, but the, the initial, initial, like I have to keep on with it. No, I have to do that. Like, Oh, the passion. No, 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 no. Like buying the agency. Oh, I just, I, when she said she gave me, because I was a client, she called me when she said, hey, I'm closing this. I'm so sorry, but you have to look for a new rep. And I was like, but I've always wanted to be in this world, so do you mind if I bought it? That's it. I just, my mom So it was, was like, just your idea? Yeah. I was like, I, I went to my mom. She was like, um, you know, she co-signed for me. And the loan wasn't like, it was big time for a teenager, but right. now it's like nothing, you know? So it was like I got all the clients, I got um, all of the the people that. And you just came. kept the database and everything. Everything. She like literally just oh. said, Colleen Shannon agency turned to Farrah Javon agency. It just just gave me everything. Wow. Yeah. Look at you. And I also was working at my mom's restaurant, so I like did that like nine to like five to six something like that. But on weekends, I'd still like be at okay. my mom's restaurant. Dang, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. so so when did you, so what happened out of that out of that call from Hollywood? Well, I mean, they didn't pick. They they found someone in LA. Oh, but, they did find. Okay. Yeah, and now that I know this business so well, that's just what you do. Because then you know when the you find the, local. Yeah, you want to find or just a search. Like I need this redhead girl. She needs to play Sybil Shepherd's daughter. You do a search and you look everywhere, and so right they come out of anywhere. Yeah, you know, it's like Amy Adams came from Colorado. You know, it's like you just never know where people come from. So they're just doing a whole search to find this girl. Interesting. OK, so when did you. So you said you mentioned that you only had it for a year. I did. So then what happened? I just I my time was there. I had fun, but I just I wanted to be a kid. I did. You I wanted like, to enjoy the 20s. Yeah, I did. I wanted to enjoy the 20s. Um, I knew that I will make it to Hollywood one day. Mm -hmm. I just had different paths. So then what what was the timeline then to like get back into it? Oh, so um, well, I moved to Vegas first and I was there for a year and a half. And then I moved to San Diego for a year and a half. I didn't get to L.A. until probably like three years, four years deep. And then I didn't even start casting until like probably five years after that or something. I was like doing stand in work and extra work. Because I didn't know oh, how. Oh, pursuing your acting dreams. Sure, I guess you, yeah, kind of. I mean, I did yeah. do acting classes for a little bit. I did acting right. classes for like six months. Um, I liked it, but it just wasn't my complete passion. Okay. I, I knew I was too creative. I had to be the person picking. Picking the, yeah. Yeah. I was like watching well, people takes, do scenes. I'm that's like, oh. probably like one of the most important jobs. Well, yeah. But I mean, besides like the writer and, and the director, it's like, yeah. well, the casting director is like, I know. And that's <laughs> why we need an right Oscar people. people. <laughs> the what? That's why we need the Oscar. Yeah, exactly. So We're fighting for that's, that. That's so what, let's see. That's what I'm saying. So. Yeah. OK, so then how did you jump back in? Um, so um, I met a friend and he was having something done to his house and there's a casting director there. And I kind of just talked to her and she said that she had an opening for an assistant. So I started working on commercials. OK. Yeah. So that kind of so I was working on commercials and then now like I'm starting to learn the business. And it's really hard because you don't know the agents don't know who you are. You don't right. know what you're doing. You know, you're kind of blind. So you kind of like have to start and like commercials is very I'm sure you've been out in commercial auditions or something like it. there's hundreds of people. Hundreds. It's not like hundreds. Like you look at the sign in sheet. It's hundreds. You know, it's funny. I, I, uh, I auditioned for a commercial a long time ago when I was a kid. Oh, did you? Yeah. And it was like 
<laughs> so embarrassing, man. <laughs> it was, I don't even I didn't even know what it was for. But some lady I was in the grocery store with my mom. I was like 10 or like, mm-hmm. no, 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 younger. I was like six. OK. And I'm like messing around. And then this this lady approaches my mom and I and she's like, oh, your son is so cute. Like this and that. Uh, you should come to this audition tomorrow. And we were like, oh, okay, great. So she takes me to the audition and and I'm like so nervous about. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. There's like hundreds of kids. Oh, that's what I'm saying. There's tons. It looks like a conveyor belt. And you kind of all look alike. <laughs> in a way, yeah. yeah. And so so I was like, I was like, the heck is going on? But the main, the, the problem was, I think it was a, a food a f- oh. It was for like a, f- a snack or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Who kn- I don't I don't remember what it was, um, but my my mom at the time would always get really mad at me at the dinner table because I was so picky when I was oh, a kid. Okay. I, now I, I I'll, I'll eat anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love trying new food, but when I was a kid, I was so picky. I only had chicken nuggets, like French fries, all that you know. Yeah, just, yeah. Just junk food, and that's all I would eat. So. My mom, <laughs> she's like watching me and they're like, oh, well, what's your favorite food? And I just said, I looked at my mom, I was so nervous. I was like, oh, man, she's going to be so pissed if I say like Hot Pockets. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> and, so then I go, uh, I like meat and rice. And oh, like, what? <laughs> and it's just made. And the direct, casting director was like, huh. all right, uh, yeah, let's get the next guy in here. <laughs> I was like, oh, gosh, my mom walked me out and she was like, why the f- would you say that? Like, you don't even <laughs> like that food. Like, why would you say that? It's probably like, nerves, too. Well, yeah, but I just like I didn't want her to get mad at me for saying Hot Pockets. because yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. I want to eat at the time. So <laughs> like, I just want but, Hot Pockets. And yeah. Nuggets. So, OK, so what's like what was the big learning curve? Like, what, what was the br- big thing that you said? Like, oh, OK, uh, this is what's going to help me siphon people out um in the casting so you kind of just start because everyone always asks like you know how do you pick someone and this and that like when i started with commercial casting there's a lot of comedy commercials too so you get to mm. see the whole comedy world and you just kind of know what like works and it's like there's no right or wrong in my eyes but like so you have all these hundreds of people come in and then like I did clean and clear with Liz Paulson. And so we did clean and clear as a big campaign and we had hundreds of girls, mm-hmm. but then the big wigs come in and then you start like, you know, putting like the top 10 and you bring them back. And I started just like soaking up the process because casting directors, um, we don't make the final decision always. It's a team effort, especially with like corporations, you know, with commercials and stuff. So I got right. to see that whole side. So oh, wow. you can suggest and be like, oh, they'll be like, well, who do you think? You know, you s- can suggest, but it's always going to be a producer or their the, final decision. Yeah. Yeah. The marketing company, whatever it is. OK. Advertising company. Like they're the ones that pick. We just we guide. Right. Right. And we give ideas. So what was the what was the big what was the hardest part about kind of working with in that world? Um. I think that for me, it was like seeing different, because I've been, uh, worked for a lot of different casting directors and seeing how people work differently. Okay. And that was like kind of challenging because here I am to thinking like this is the right way to do it, but every person has their own way of doing something. Right, like on choosing who to move on? Yeah, or the process move on. alone. Oh, the yeah. process. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it just was... I thought that, oh, this is the way that I was taught. Like, well, you need to get that out of your head. Now you follow my way, you know, and it's hard. So, like, you you learn different things. And, like, sometimes I would be more hands-on or talk to, like, I'd, like, have conversations with producers, with some casting directors, and some casting directors would be like, don't talk to them. You just you start to, like, learn how the process goes. Casting directors would say, don't talk to who? If you're an assistant, don't talk to the producers. Like you're just an assistant, don't talk to producers. Oh, really? Oh, but it's see, like me. Uh, yeah. I'm but just, you talk to everyone. Yeah, that's it. I'm the chatty one. I'm the one that wants to know everybody. I'm a very right. like you know playful personality, all that stuff. But it's like I want to know these people, 
And if you're going to put me in the room with these guys, I don't want to be just a, you know, sitting like a fly in the wall. Yeah, no I want to be no involved. No one puts baby in a corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm an actor. I come in. What's yes. like, what's like number one? Obviously, I, ha I have to match the, the look, the, the look, vibe. Of the, yeah. the look and the vibe of the role. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Right when yeah. you, right when someone walks in. Yeah. But what's like when they start speaking, what's like the first thing that you catch? Um, I think the how comfortable they are with the script. Um, I always tell people to try to stay on book, like try to have the words and everything, because you don't know if the writer's going to be in there. You don't know, like, you know, are, they could be picky about their words. Sometimes right. they let you play with the words. Definitely figure that out. Um, the knowledge of what you're reading. Like I always say, like with procedurals, that know what you're saying like don't like like there's a lot of like doctor terms that you don't know what they're saying know what you're saying because that's gonna definitely make a difference too yeah because you, you gotta, care yeah you got to dissect the yeah whole thing. yeah right and um if it's like an episode of something watch that show i know so many people have like oh you like my friends be like what'd you audition for oh i did this have you ever seen the show no well you should watch it before you go in to see what the tone is how the directing right. is these are little things that People don't always think about. They're just excited to get in that room and to do their own thing or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think it's important to do your homework. And like you can kind of tell that. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely yeah. tell when someone I mean, the, when someone hasn't done their homework, they they kind of like freak out a little bit. Yeah. I know I did. Yeah. I've, that's do, I've done it do plenty homework. of times. Yeah. Where I get into the audition room. Well, it sucks now because there's not really audition rooms anymore yes and that does put a little i always say it was asked me like hey is self-tape better do you like li live auditions to me personally this is just me i don't know how many takes someone did on their self-tape and that's really important because you right. can send the best take but it could have been take 27 i have no clue i can't or take hire. two or take two it's a right. mystery so like i can't hire someone that can't get it in x amount of tapes you know like takes right because if i bring you onto my set and you're like 15 takes that's gonna make me look bad too yeah you're wasting time so that's the scary part about self tapes right now to me that is it really scary. is yeah yeah i tried doing a zoom audition the other day and even that is is like oh yeah oh can you tilt the camera up a little know, more and like right? can you can, can you open your window or like can you close your window and like you know, I know, do the like, blinds a little yeah. bit. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, <You're> like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's the interesting with self tapes to me. And another thing is like, I was working on this movie recently, and my director, I did the breakdowns, uh, got the self tapes, showed her, and then she's like, oh, it sounds great, but I would like now to meet this person. And I'm like, okay, she wants to meet everyone because in a live audition. That's another big process. Yeah. Who are you? Right. Are you a Devo? Are you, you know, a kind person? Like, how do you walk into the room? Are you the kind of actor that just goes straight into your character? Or do you come in and be like, oh, hey, so lovely to meet you? You know, because every casting person introduces, like, this is yeah. my director, blah, 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 my producer, da, da, da. Now go ahead to your slate and we'll go into it. So the way you walk into a room, I think, is important. I know. I think they should really start bringing back the live auditions. Oh, I know. They might maybe. They're install. fun. I know. I They're know. really fun. Well, the crazy thing is sometimes that um, directors get so lost and so excited about someone they like. And you'll probably been like sitting outside forever because they're like talking to someone forever or they kidnap you forever. Like, yeah, you know, like when they see something or just like your personality. That's why I think it's important for the live auditions. But I also want everyone to be safe. Right. So well, that's, now we're safe. Now we're safe. Now we're safe. Now we're like, no, no a year mask. ago, I'd be like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll start, um, depending on like, how cozy casting directors are getting with self-tapes, I think it'll maybe by fall, they might open it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or if not everyone come in, um, then maybe at least like callbacks will be live. Yeah. Well, what, so what's the, what was the hardest part about running your own agency? Um, responsibility. I mean, it was like a lot. Yeah, because you were young. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, now going on to a movie, uh, you've done a few movies now. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. So what? what's like, what does that look like? What's What's the day in the life look like of 
the casting director. Oh, well, I would love to share um, with the old way movie I just did, the Nick Cage Western, trying to find his daughter. That was probably like one of my most fun, a little stressful, but shocking. Like all these different emotions going on. I was up till like four in the morning watching tapes. So what happens is you put your breakdown out and then I think like 1800 girls uh, submitted for this. So out of the 1800, I have to look at everyone and then pick my top. I picked 1800. Like, you watched 1800 not tapes? tapes. No, no. That's oh, okay. the pictures to see who oh. would even match first. Like okay. you said, match yeah. first. And like age and everything. I knew what I was looking for. And um, and then credits, because even though like this girl had to be with, you know, an Oscar winner. So it's like, make sure when you're on set, she you're not going to crumble. Yeah. She has to have yeah. something. So then I got like, I asked 400 people to tape just because like, this is a search. I got to find them. You know, I did Chicago, New York. Uh, Miami like I looked everywhere Wow not in Ohio but <laughs> I did not look everywhere Ohio. no but um, but anyway so out of that normally if you ask for 400 to tape half would tape that's it so you have to go big because a lot's gonna be gone so if, oh, you, really? if you were to put 200 out then you'll probably get like very little why do you think that you gotta is get that net wide life happens like someone could have booked something someone could have read the material and not want to do it then uh, not available. Right. Many things. I've had a lot of teams, like, they'll be submitted, and then I'll get a note saying, oh, sorry, like, unavailable, just book something, or unavailable, family emergency, unavailable, on vacation. Like, whatever it is, people have a million different excuses. So if you can tape it, tape it anyways, because <laughs> half of the people just got yeah, no, knocked, go for it. knocked out. Yeah, yeah, you're already winning. <laughs> All right, I'm, ta I'm taping my tape this tonight. <laughs> you're just always winning. So so you send out the 400 tapes, yes. half are half are knocked down. Already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So then so then like, no, this is the thing. So I had 400 and guess how many tapes? Because normally it's like half dozen. Guess how many did, though? 200. Wait, how many? 350. 350 Only of this 400? Only 50 people did not tape. Yes. Really? So well, because I mean, you get to work I with mean, Nick Cage. Yeah, you know, I like, need to work with Nick. Be do do <laughs> Nick Cage and it's a cool Western, sick. like, hello. Oh, that's my dream. Yeah. I need to be See, in a Western. See, everyone, yeah, like, I it was my dream. Western. When I got the call to work on, I was dying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so then um, that's when I was up, like, till 3, 4 in the morning, like, going and watching all these tapes. And then I had to narrow it down to, out of the 250, I narrowed it down to 35. Wow. Yeah. 350 to 35 how long were these tapes oh my gosh so what between like uh they're three scenes and they're pretty long but i kind of pop over oh, each scene right i don't oh, watch you skim from top through. yeah 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 because yeah, you can get the gist i get the gist of like who can be on set and like who has the chops and who has the voice and all that all stuff. this stuff yeah the tone even like like okay. you have a picture but i don't know what this person looks like live so i can see this girl's way too young or whoa, you're not you're not in thirteen, you're like fifteen. You know, like you can see that too. Yeah. Like age is a big thing on this. Okay. So out of thirty five, um, I remember I was talking to my director and I was like, Man, I got so many good girls, I don't know what to do. He's like, Well, you just gotta give me like I was like, Okay, so I was up to like four and they're just like, Okay, here you go, I just did it. We're done. Thirty five, there you go. And then they look through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they pick. They're like, well, I tell them, I was like, these girls stand out to me. So then you hand it to the director mm -hmm. and producers? The director and producers. I give them a okay. link and be like, these are my top choices. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they look. How long does this process take? Because I know I've sent audition tapes weeks. out. And yeah, then, a couple weeks. And then it's like, oh, I haven't heard back in like a week, two weeks pass. And then, some, you, so, I mean, sometimes it's, yeah. like, it's like you don't hear anything and then that's just it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then other times I've, I've had it where like, two weeks later then I hear back and it's like hey you're moving on to the next stage or like you know we're oh, passing yeah. it on to the producer and this and that and I'm like oh that took a little while like yeah so how long does it usually take to I mean this is speed casting but um I think at least a couple weeks to really like if you don't hear anything if you don't hear anything by two weeks then probably probably not look away yeah yeah but definitely give some time because it's not like a three-day process especially with the big film you know like they're looking at a lot of people. Yeah. So it's, it's like it time. takes time. Yeah. I'm the one man band. So like a lot of people have assistants and associates that go mm. sifting for you and all that stuff. I've done everything on my own. 
Yeah. I've never had an assistant. Well, it, uh, it adds like your own little personal touch to yeah. the to the film and everything. So yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah. So as an actor, do I want to schmooze the casting director or do I want to schmooze? I don't know how you can unless you know him. <laughs> Who do you I need know? to talk to? That's why I was wondering, like, as an actor side, because sometimes I forget, like, because I feel like, oh, my gosh, you've cast this and you cast that and all you've worked with great teams and da, da, da. But I forget, like, I won't say the power, but like how I do have I do have a chance to help an actor. And I 100%. try to and I can. But sometimes I forget that. I just think I'm the girl from Ohio and like it's kind of still a dream. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, it's not like, oh, I'm the Hollywood girl and da 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 da. No, I'm never going to be that girl. I'm always going to be the girl from Ohio. But I have a lot of actor friends that I want to help whenever I can. And like, I help people with self tapes. Mm -hmm. Your friend, <laughs> Mr. Lane. Oh, Lane, yeah. yeah I help yeah. him a lot. That's um, good. Yeah, I help him a lot. I'll ask you for my next. Uh, that's help, what I, I know. I, that's it. Like, anyone, like, and it's like, there's no right or wrong. I just. Actors can't see what I can see behind the camera or little things that you think you're doing, but you're not. Yeah. And I've heard like people be like, no, I, I said that though. I'm like, but you didn't, you know, it's like, right. You didn't get you the didn't message deliver across. that. Yeah. You didn't yeah. deliver that line the right way or they skip over a line and it's like, they're like, oh, what well, is that necessary? I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, I would think it is like yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into a lot of studying, a lot of uh, yeah. preparation that goes into every audition. Ta well, even just going to the actual film, like but s first things first is the audition. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a, it, it takes a lot and gets pretty emotional, gets pretty crazy because yeah. then it's frustrating sometimes when you don't yeah. doing it over and over again. That's why the self tapes. I'm yeah. sick and tired of them because like, <laughs> you know. just see one mess up and you're like, oh. I know. I and then that. you guys get in your head so much too. Yeah. Well after oh, the I after done the this fifth, differently. After the fifth try, oh I get in my head, I'm like Oh yeah. You get, you get frustrated, you're just like, I should be this should be done already. And yeah. Like, oh my gosh. I tell actors don't overthink it though. Yeah. You know, I'm like, true. listen because I know um our famous saying is throw it away. You know, that's what we say, like throw how it can away. yeah, like how can I change the scene? Like, okay, that, that was great, now like, just throw it away. Which meaning is like, Don't I try can to see you're acting. It. Well, I can see you're acting. Mm -hmm. And to, this is what I think is I can see you're acting and it just, you got to be natural about it. Like sometimes I stop people and be like, okay, let's just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? And now let's roll it. Because it gets, it breaks it away from you going so deep into the acting world. You just need to be natural. Yeah. You know? So it's it all helps. Tension. It's all tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's next for you? Um, well, I have a couple of projects coming up. Uh, one shooting in Atlanta, Georgia, which I'm very excited. It's a, a teen thriller. And I do like nice. that teen genre area. I don't know. It's like all that's like really fun to me. But um, yeah, just I try to work as much as I can. Um, I feel like once you do casting for so long, you start to know the other side as well. So what do you mean by that? Like the producing side, like, you know, like oh, investors okay. or, you know, like makeup people or, yeah. you know, uh, line producers so if so you want to get into invest or I, into, I want to uh, get producing. into yeah because I want if I have a passion for a project I want to help get it off the ground as much as I can so I suggest which nice. I guess that is part of producing but I do love that side too but I will never give up my casting throne and that is mine yeah that's your <laughs> yeah it's like even if I'm producing I will always cast awesome yeah awesome because that's my heart and joy I love it yeah well, thank you so much for being here. Of I really course. appreciate it. Thank I you for feel me. so confident now to go to my next audition and really just kill it because I know exactly what they're looking for. And but the thing you have to remember is that casting is always on your side. Yeah. We are your cheerleader. Yeah, I mean no one's no one's gonna be like, Oh, you know, yeah. I'm after that guy. I'm gonna make sure he is not in the film. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I'm so. sure that could happen, but no. It's yeah, like, it's possible. <laughs> Yeah, just don't maybe piss off a casting director. <laughs> well, this is why you're kind to everyone, okay? You got to be just yes, kind exactly. and cordial, respectful to everyone because you never know who's the next casting director. You don't. You really don't. It's, it's, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. But, yeah, Anyways. like I think that um, with your self-tapes, like, yeah, if you ever need help, tell me. But I'm, I'm tough. I'm tough. I you need to be tough. I'm like, if you want, like, I don't candy coat anything. I'm like, I'll be like, again. It's good. I need again. it. Again. 
you know, and tell you exactly what you're, because it is right. casting director, so I will help you and direct you. Yes. So just be ready. I love it. <laughs> well, thanks again so much for being on. Of course. On. Thank you for having me. Opposite ends. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.